Okay. Okay, we're here with Emily and Hugh. Hi, Hugh. Hey. And how old is Hugh? Hugh is an eight-year-old train walker coonhound. Okay. And he's my foster with the Louisiana Basset Rescue. Okay. And why did you come to classes with him? Um, Hugh needed some help. Um, he's an older dog, um, harder to adopt out. We thought an obedience class would help him, and he. Um, I struggled with him at home, you know, getting him to obey commands and to listen to me. So, okay. you know, I figured a obedience class all around would just be a, a good experience. And did it? Did it help him? Majorly. He listens to me at home and at the dog park, which is astounding because at first I didn't get any response at the Nothing dog park. Nothing at all. And now we do recall at the dog park, and it's quite astounding. And he goes back to you. He comes back to me from... A distance. So Fantastic. I'm very happy. With so what is this what is this he's wearing? I know what it is, but tell everybody else. This is called a thunder shirt. And why is he wearing um, that? Hugh has some anxiety when he's out in public and on the car ride to obedience class. So he he wears a thunder shirt thunder shirt to help his anxiety and, and that yeah, and that's better than medication, right? Better than medication. It does help his anxiety. Um it's not completely gone, but we're working on it. So. He's made a night. He's a whole different dog since the first class. He he's made a, a 180 completely. So. so what would be a perfect home for Hugh? Um, someone with yes, we agree. older children. Um, older children, older as children. in. Um, he is big and goofy and doesn't realize he is big and goofy. Okay. Um, someone with a very big fenced yard would be ideal for him. Um, he loves other dogs. Um, okay. Okay. Um, he, Speaking of other dogs, while we're talking. Pepper, come, can you come greet Hugh? Would we'll you serve Body? Keep talking about him. Um, he loves other dogs. Um, this is a classmate. Hey, Pepper. But he loves being with other dogs. Say hi to Hugh, Pepper. That's why he loves the dog park. He loves the dog park. He runs around and he's on things with butts and. Oh, he, 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 he's a dog. Okay. All right. And as you can see, he was with in class with other dogs. So, classmates, what did y'all think of Hugh? Would, would you trust Hugh around your family? Absolutely. Mike? Yes. What did y'all think? Yes. Yes? Would you trust Hugh around your dogs? Yes. Was anybody ever scared of Hugh in class? Never. No. Okay. Hugh was our recess bell. He let us know when it was time to start. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's, okay. Show us Hugh's sit and go into his sit stay. Okay. And this is positive reinforcement class. We do use food for treats right now. We'll wean off later and use. Praise. Sit. Stay. Treat him for the sit. Sit. Oh, yes. Wait after he sits. <laughs> Emily's a little nervous. It's okay. A little bit. I'm That's sorry. okay. I'm not used to being on camera. You're not. You're not on camera. Hugh's on camera. Okay. Ready? Sit. Get him off the edge. Get him off the edge. Yeah, it's okay. We can't go in the grass. It's too wet. That's okay. Hey, he wouldn't sit for three weeks. That's okay. I'm glad with that. Okay. All right. I'm okay with that. House, house is down. Everybody look. This is a miracle in the making. Yay, Hugh. That is his first down at class. No, second down. He did one last week. Huge. <sighs> Fantastic. Go, Hugh. Tell you what, do it again and drop the treat on the ground. And this is really a big deal for an older dog because you got to realize he's like 70 years old in human age. And we're teaching him all kind of new stuff. Fantastic. I'm happy. Okay, I'm happy. Okay, go on out and call him to come to you. Hugh, you're passing with honors, bud. Okay, this is our recall. Hugh, come on, man. Hugh, come on. Awesome. Awesome. He doesn't want to run off. Okay, walking back on loose lead. Notice he's not pulling her. He's not wanting to drag her down the road. Good boy. Okay, let's put him in our tunnel. Come on, man. And the tunnel, yes, the tunnel is a self-confidence builder for the dogs. That teaches them that there's a human on the other end. Okay, call him to come. Hugh, come on. Yay, Hugh. Congratulations. Congratulations. So for anybody watching this, it may not seem like a really big deal what Hugh did. 
I think all of us can agree he is a totally different dog from the very first class. Hey, buddy. He, what'd you call it, howled, barked, bays, bays for the, the whole class, the first three classes. He has come a long way. He would be a fantastic dog. Zero aggression, right? Zero aggression. Zero aggression in him. And he's, he's inside, he's house trained? House trained. Um, he uses my doggy door. He loves the doggy door. He okay. loves being outside. Is he crate trained? He is crate trained. Awesome. He loves going to his crate. Awesome. Um, well, well, <gasps> hey, buddy. He actually prefers Hi. to go in there when the weather's bad. Uh-huh. Good. Um, yeah. He's super sweet. He'd be a great, he'd be a great addition uh, to someone's family. Yes. Um, and he would be a great walking partner as well. Uh, he and I walk about um, a mile every day, sometimes more. Wonderful. So. That's Wonderful. Okay, so if you're looking for a great dog, contact Emily and adopt you. Thank you. Let us know.